स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल तो दिस वीडियो इज एक्सक्लूसिवली फॉर क्लास एट स्टूडेंट दो आर अटेडिंग द बोर्ड एक्सामेशन तो यारे कर्नाटक स्टेट बोर्ड नीतरा नाट द सी बी एस इ बोर्ड स्टेट बोर्ड स्टूडेंट्स सो निलू कर्ष पब्ली एक्सामेशन सो रिटेड टू दट वीडियो नानता सो यू आल नो दट द बोर्ड हाज रिज द फस्ट मॉडल पेपर ओके इवती वीडियो ना नि जो डिस्कसू मॉडल पेपर टू सो मॉडल पेपर टू मैं ई हव प्रिपेर्ड मेनी मॉडल पेपर्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द बोर्ड ब्लू प्रिंट अगर बोर्ड रिज आगे क्वेश्चन पेपर न ब्लू प्रिंट न प्रकार एंड आलो द सिलबस विच एस दिच दे हव बी अलॉटेड सो अद्र प्रकार नानता अगर मॉडल पेपर्स न डिस्कस बंदी सो दिस वीडियो इज डेफिनेटली गोयिंग टू हेल्प यू Uh, in many ways, my dear students, do watch the video completely and don't forget to share the videos with your friends also. So, as you all know that first paper he gave it. I know that we already have discussed about the discuss mark, the model paper release mark. That is why the first page he gave it. I mean, exam under I mean board examination in the code one the question uh, first sheet of question paper. I mean, e riti kind of. So, this is why I have already discussed the discuss mark. The previous video no di landre model paper one related video na no di. Okay. So let's move on to the main part. So let's move on to the questions part. So I'm already done here. Did you hear? Give it to me. My question paper pattern. Anta. So question number one to twenty multiple choice. Give it to me. Question number twenty one to twenty five. It is two marks question. Give it to me. And twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight. Ten. Give it to me. So up to twenty eight. It is three marks. And twenty nine question. On the diagram based four mark. Give it to me. Right. So this is already done. I'm just discuss. Mark. Give it to me. Right. सो यार लाइव अल जॉन आगे डियर स्टूडेंट नान क्वेश्चन ओद्ता हा हिर्तनी सो यू आलो ट्रई टू ऐस द आंसर नहीं आंसर्स गेस एंड फैंड द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर् एव्री क्वेश्चन ओके सो दे स्टार्ट द फस्ट क्वेश्चन द फस्ट क्वेश्चन इज द फॉलोयिंग पिचर रेप्रेजेंट नोटी निमल पेपरलू कीति पिचर को सिमिलर टू दिस ओके सो विच यू नो द मिरर Or which the which length is this? Anta find out. Mark beko. The following picture represent whether it is a concave mirror or a concave lens, convex lens or a convex mirror. Anadha na you identify mark beko. So you observe mardi. You have already previous video dalili na held angge. Aam ando diagram ali didu convex. So illiru anta didu concave mirror. So exam ali ni vein mar tira. You write the option A. Option A anta ili mention mar tira. Then you write here concave. Concave anta ili. कंप्लीट आगे नहीं हो बरी बेको तो दिस इज़ हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू राइट द आंसर्स इन योर एग्जामिनेशन ही गेन ही वो आंसर्स है ना बरी बेक आगे तो एग्जाम आली ओके तो यू आल्सो ट्राई टू आंसर डियर स्टूडेंट्स नहीं हो कोड़ा आंसर मारे कि ट्राई मारी डेफिनेटली दिस इज़ गोइंग टू बे वेरी गुड सेशन फॉर य So, what kind of property this mirror has? Anta identify maadi. There are four options: virtual, erect, and enlarged image. Virtual, erect, and diminished image. Erect image and virtual image. So, yara dro answer maada ke try maada tai re. Niwo. So, so, by the time I will also discuss the right answer. Okay. Fine. The second question's right answer is: This is a virtual, erect, and also enlarged image. So, this is used basically by the dentist. Okay. So you have to write this, children. This is the virtual. So what kind of an uh, uh, mirror is this, or what kind of the property this mirror has? Anta kelde. This has the virtual. This has the virtual, erect, and also the enlarged, or if we say enlarged image. Anta we will mention Marbeko. Okay. So all this is based on your, uh, you know, uh, completely based on the blueprint and also the syllabus uh, which has been allotted for your exams, children. So do watch all the videos which I am posting for your eighth standard board examination preparation. Next third question is name the part mentioned in this diagram. So you can observe this diagram. So in this diagram, so this is the I diagram. Okay, there is a part which is mentioned. What is the name of this part? So the options are iris, lens, cornea, and optic nerve. So which is the answer, children? Uh, will you guess? Yes, most of you are guessing. The right answer is given by already one of the student. I think yes. The right answer is option B. It is lens, children. The right answer is option B, lens. Let's go for next question. See the tail of the comet always directed. Options away from the sun, 
towards the sun, towards the moon and away from the moon. There are four options. So, what is the right answer here? The tail of the comet is always directed away from the sun. So, right answer is option A. So, right option A here and also you have to mention it is away from the sun. So, the tail of the comet is always so directed away from the sun. You have to mention this. Okay. Yes. Next question. The gap between the orbit of Mars and Jupiter. See, you have the planets, right? Starting from Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. Okay. So, between Mars and Jupiter, what is present? Options are asteroids, comets, meteorite and meteorite. What is present? Yes, the right answer here is option A, children. Most of you are trying to answer. Very good. The right answer is asteroids. We say asteroids or asteroids. Okay. Yes. Let's move for next six question. See, suppose a new planet is discovered between Uranus and Neptune. Its time period would be, say for example, there is a new planet which was discovered between Uranus and Neptune. What is the time period? What would be the time period they are asking? The options are less than that of Neptune, more than that of Neptune, equal to that of Neptune or Uranus or less than that of Uranus. So, here the right answer here is children. Yes, most of you are guessing, correct? The right answer is option A. It is less than that of Neptune. So, it is option A. The right answer is less than that of Neptune. Less than that of Neptune. So, do remember you have to write the option and also the answer okay so it, it is of neptune so this is how you write the answers in the examination so the next question is two mirrors a and b are placed at the right angle remember right angle to each other a ray of light incident on a mirror at an angle of 25 degree falls on the mirror b after reflection the angle of reflection for the ray reflected from the mirror b would be they are asking so, what might be the answer, children? What would be the answer? Tell me. So, what might be the answer here? See, there are so many degrees they have given. 25 degree, 50 degree, 115 degree and 65 degree. What would be the degree? If it is right angle, the 25 degree is the angle. Okay. Incident, see, the array light incident on a mirror at the angle of 25 degree. So, what would be its reflection? You just minus 90 minus 25, how much you get? You get 65 degree. Okay. The right answer here is 65 degree. So, option D, 65 degree you have to write. Okay. Yes. Let's go for next question C. The next question is, name the mirror used in the image. Name the mirror used in the image. So, what is the, you know, mirror used in the image? The options are plane mirror, concave mirror, convex mirror and sliding mirror. So, if you look at this, see, this is, absolutely the right that is you know the plane mirror this mirror is absolutely the plane mirror children so option a is the right answer plane mirror you have to write as the answer the answer is plane mirror okay let's go for ninth question yes name the chemical process in which a substance reacts with oxygen to give out the heat See, if a substance is reacting with oxygen definitely that is you know that process is called as Option C, combustion children. Very easy to identify rather than see, go for all the options. Reaction, junction, combustion and all of this. The right answer is option C, combustion. Option C, combustion is the right answer. Okay? Yes. The next question, which of the following does not conduct electricity? You read all the options children. Sugar solution, vinegar solution, lemon juice solution and caustic soda solution. Among these four, among these four, which does not conduct electricity, the right answer would be option A, sugar solution. Sugar solution does not conduct electricity because the sugar solution cannot dissociate H plus ions. This one you learn more in class 10 standard. The vinegar is nothing but an acidic solution. Lemon juice is an acidic solution. Caustic soda is an, also an acidic solution. What happened here? Sugar solution does not conduct the electricity. Yes. So, next, the 11th question is, Identify the phenomenon. Look at the picture. The same kind of questions are also being given in your exam. Okay. So, identify the phenomenon they are giving. So, if you look at this picture, see options are earthquake, lightning, flood, thunder and also lightning. These are the options given here. See, if you look at the picture, what is happening actually here? 
ऑप्शन बी लाइटनिंग इज हैपनिंग सो इट इज लाइटनिंग एल आई जी एच टी ओके लाइटनिंग एन आई एन जी लाइटनिंग इज द वन थिंग विच यू कैन ऑब्जर्व इन दिस पिक्चर ओके यस गोइंग टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन चिल्ड्रेन इन द सन लाइट एंड हीट आर प्रोड्यूसड बाई वॉट काइंड ऑफ रिएक्शन ऑप्शन आर केमिकल रिएक्शन न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शन बर्निंग रिएक्शन बर्नस एंड बर्नर ओके See the light and heat in the sun are produced because of the nuclear reaction. So option B, nuclear reactions is the right answer. Nuclear reaction is the right answer for this question. Okay. So let's go for next question. See, long long ago, which of the following trees was used to produce the matchsticks? This is based on you know combustion and flame lesson. It's very important. Every corner of the textbook you must know. the mango deodar banyan and pine you have a matchstick history okay then in that particular part answer is given the option d pine okay pine trees was used to produce the matchsticks okay so next let us go for 14th question in the displacement reaction a more reactive element displaces a less reactive element or a less reactive metal displaces a more reactive metal or both option b a and b is correct so none of the above in displacement reaction what happen always a more reactive metal displaces a re less reactive metal so write the answer option a so option a what is option a it is more reactive always in displacement uh, reaction more reactive metal more reactive metal displaces more reactive metal displaces less reactive metal more reactive metal displaces less reactive metal let's go for 15 question the pigment responsible for the green color of leaves i hope you all are also guess you all are guessing the right answers so and you are analyzing whether the answer which i am telling is right or wrong okay so the pigment responsible for the green color of the leaves so ashwath has given the right answer followed by gamer id and uh, sai rakesh very good the right answer is option a chlorophyll children the chlorophyll chlorophyll pigment is responsible for the green color in the leaves next question identify the mode of reproduction followed by an organism see you can look at this organism if you look at this organism so what is the name of this organism the name of this organism is plasmodium the name of this organism is plasmodium okay what kind of you know reproduction it follows first of all it follows asexual mode of reproduction it follows asexual mode of reproduction and under asexual mode of reproduction what kind of reproduction does it follow you have to identify so who is right saying right answer fission is right answer but for multi what or whether it is binary fission or multiple fission you have to identify the plasmodium always undergo the options are fission multiple fission binary fission and fragmentation the right answer is multiple fission okay plasmodium always undergo multiple fission they undergo okay they undergo multiple fission we must write answer multiple fission very important children okay so yes so let's go for next question height of the children depends on the dash inherited from the parents options genes nucleus muscle and mitochondria height of the parents height of the parents depends on what which has been inherited from the parents okay the right answer is option yes the unknown gamer id has already given the right answer the right answer is option a children option a genes is the right answer very good fine so moving to next question growth is a natural process in which the body undergoes a change leading to reproductive maturity what is this called as growth is a natural process in which body undergoes reproductive maturity what kind of change is this you want to identify so what kind of this change uh, change is this options are adulteration incubation period puberty and growth period yes absolutely all are giving right answer option c is the right answer that is puberty during puberty what happen the reproductive maturity takes place 19th question name the type of reproduction followed look at this diagram children look at this picture so what kind of reproduction is followed in this diagram tell me what kind of reproduction is followed by this particular plant okay 
yes so many are telling regeneration but this is not regeneration the right answer is the option b children the options are budding vegetative propagation regeneration and fragmentation actually the name of this leaf is bryophyllum it is bryophyllum leaf and this bryophyllum leaf okay it will produce the buds at the notches at the leaf notches okay this mode of reproduction is called as vegetative propagation this mode of reproduction is called as vegetative propagation vegetative propagation it is called as okay yes let's go for next question see abida and ramesh were doing an ramesh was doing an experiment okay on heating the on heating the water test tube abida holds beaker near the yellow area okay uh, yellow area of the candle flame ramesh uses the beaker placing it on very outer side of the flame so which water is going to become heat in a very short period of time you want to identify okay see abida and ramesh both were doing an experiment on heating the water in the test tube abida when she hold the beaker what happened near the yellow area of the candle flame ramesh hold the beaker near the outer side of the flame so whose beaker become very fastly heated and you have to identify okay so options are abida's beaker or test tube get heated up fastly ramesh uh, test tube or beaker get heated fastly test tube get heated up fastly in both the cases fastly in both the cases test tube broken without heating see you know that the zones of flame right so when we look at the zones of flame what happened the outer zone what is their outer zone this outer zone is very hot children so that is why abida where she uh, where abida has kept abida and ramesh were doing an experiment right abida hold the beaker near yellow area that means in the this area whereas ramesh holded the beaker in the outer zone okay ramesh holded the beaker in the outer zone so now tell me whose beaker will get heated very faster whose beaker will get heated very faster whether it is abida's or uh, the ramesh abida holded near the yellow zone ramesh used uh, to hold in the outer zone of the flame in which zone it is very hot it is in the outer zone right so the right answer is ramesh test tube get heated very fastly ramesh okay option b is the right answer okay yes the next question what zone of flame is used by goldsmith to dissolve the gold and silver so from here onwards we are entering to the question answer part so from here onwards we are entering to the question answer part it's very important see let me explain you this okay so the first question is what zone of flame is used by the goldsmith to dissolve the silver so if the goldsmith have to dissolve the silver if the goldsmith have to dissolve the silver which zone of flame is been used by the goldsmith is my first question okay will anybody answer for this question okay yes so let me write answer children see the goldsmith uses the outer zone of the candle goldsmith the goldsmith just now we spoke about abida and ramesh right the goldsmith okay just a minute spelling gone wrong okay goldsmith goldsmith uses goldsmith you must write like this goldsmith uses the outer zone outer zone outer zone okay of the candle flame you can note down the question and answer children this kind of question may be asked in the examination okay see goldsmith uses the outer zone of the candle there is one more question how water controls burning of fire this is the next question they are asking for two marks okay how water controls the you know uh, burning of fire they are asking what do you write answer see water water okay water brings down water brings down water brings down okay the temperature children water brings down the temperature water brings down the temperature of the it brings down the temperature of the combustible substance combustible substance water bring down the temperature of the combustible substance which is undergoing combustion right so that particular substance 
the you know that water will make that particular substance the temperature to come down okay so water brings down the temperature of the combustible substance below its ignition temperature below its ignition temperature this is what you will write in the examination okay below its ignition temperature so this is how you write in the examination and this is what you want to write in the examination okay yes let's go for next question name the hormones secreted in the boys when reach the adolescent period okay that means you have to find out the hormones secreted in the boys when they reach the adolescent period and write any one function of it which hormone is secreted the testosterone is secreted right testosterone testosterone hormone testosterone hormone is secreted testosterone hormone is secreted when when boys reaches boys reach adolescent period when the boys reach adolescent period this is what you have to write when the boys reach adolescent period okay next they are asking write any one function of it what is the function the function when you when you want to write the function you can write voice box cracks voice box cracks this is the one function because of the testosterone hormone which is seen in the boys next what happen you can see growth of hairs growth of hair on their face growth of hair on their face so these are the second this is the second one you can write any one okay next let's go for next question children what are flammable substances is my next question what are flammable substances see substances which catches a fire very easy okay the substances the substances which catches the fire substances which catches which catches the fire okay this is called as flammable substances how do they catch the fire they catch the fire rapidly okay substances which catches the fire rapidly are called as flammable substances example they are asking example which are those we can write the kerosene okay kerosene we can write and we can also write lpg liquefied petroleum gas they all are called as flammable substances because they catches the fire very easily let's answer the next question differentiate between the concave mirror and also the convex mirror okay you want to write the difference between the concave mirror and also the convex mirror so let me write about concave mirror and convex mirror the concave mirror see a concave mirror a concave mirror a concave mirror is a is a spherical mirror children a concave mirror is a spherical mirror it is a spherical mirror which bulges okay which bulges which bulges inwards okay which bulges inwards and it it forms what kind of image it forms it forms okay it forms enlarged images it forms make it as n it forms enlarged images this is what about you write about the concave mirror then when i talk about convex mirror okay you write a convex mirror see a convex mirror a convex mirror is also a spherical mirror a convex mirror is also a spherical mirror is also a spherical mirror this is all very important concept for your examination point of view okay is also a spherical mirror which bulges which bulges outwards so the main difference is bulging inward and outward okay and it forms what kind of image it forms it forms it forms diminished images children it forms diminished images it forms diminished images okay observe what are the differences we are writing here see when i talk about concave mirror i told you concave mirror is a spherical mirror which bulges inwards okay whereas the and also it forms the enlarged images whereas convex mirror is a spherical mirror which bulges outwards the concave inwards and convex outwards whereas concave mirror forms enlarged images convex mirror forms the diminished images these are the important concept that you want to know 
when i am writing the answer what are the major things you are going to specify you want to know let next next let us go for next question children see what is lightning give the methods of prevention from the lightning i am asking what is mean by lightning see lightning see for the light lesson they have given four importance okay so what is mean by lightning see lightning is a lightning is a sudden it is a sudden electrostatic it is a sudden electrostatic okay it is a sudden electrostatic discharge it is a sudden electrostatic discharge that occur that occur okay typically that occur typically during during a thunderstorm so when thunderstorm is taking place what happen this lightning will take place the lightning will take place basically it is a sudden electrostatic discharge lightning is a sudden electrostatic discharge okay so next question i am asking here methods of prevention from the lightning how do you get prevention from the lightning that is what you want to answer next see how do you write see you write in the examination methods of methods of prevention methods of prevention methods of prevention from lightning methods of prevention from lightning so what are the methods that you can follow the first method you can follow is we should stay in a closed place see we should we should we should stay we should stay in a closed place maybe a closed car or closed house closed place we have to stay secondly see we should stay in a closed place secondly we should take shelter and we should not take see, always you have to avoid okay we should not take so what i can read avoid avoid taking avoid taking shelter you should not take the shelter under the trees because there are so many cases where the people who are standing under the, the trees will get affect from the lightning and they will die okay you should not take shelter under the trees or stand in an open field you should not stand not stand in an open field okay this is what you want to understand this is what you want to understand okay yes i hope you understood children what is mean by lightning lightning is a sudden electrostatic discharge that occur typically during the thunderstorm so how can you prevent the methods to prevent are we should stay in a closed place avoid taking shelter under trees and also don't stand in an open area so next question what is earthing what are the precautions that can be taken outside your home from the earthquake what is mean by earthing see it is the process of transferring the charge okay earthing is what it is the process so you write the process the process of the process of transferring the process of transferring of charge the process of transferring of charge from a from a charged object from a charged object from a charged object okay to the earth to the earth so this is what we call it as earthing we call this as earthing okay so what are the precautions that can be taken outside your home from there there is when there is earthquake how can you take you know a precaution they are asking so what are the precautions you can take find a clear spot okay you want to always find a find a clear spot to take the shelter okay find a clear spot especially away from the buildings should not stand very close to building because during earthquakes suddenly what happened the buildings may fall down okay so you should not stand near the buildings and also the trees secondly if you are in a car or a bus if you are in a car if you are in a car or in a bus if you are in a car or bus okay do not come out do not come out that is the one way that you can take the precaution okay what is earth thing the process of transferring of charge from a charged object to the earth this is called as earthing so how can you take precaution find a clear spot away from the buildings and trees if you are inside the car or a bus do not come out okay 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन लिस्ट द अप्लीकेशन ऑफ मैन मेड सैटेलाइट सो वॉट आर द अप्लीकेशन ऑफ मैन मेड सैटेलाइट यू हैव टू राइट फर्स्ट यू हैव टू राइट दे आर यूज फॉर फोरकास्टिंग द वेदर ओके दीज मैन मेड सैटेलाइट दे these man made satellites they are used they are used for they are used for forecasting forecasting they are used for forecasting weather to forecast the weather these artificial satellites are been used and also they are used in transmitting the television and also the radio signals okay they are used they are used in transmitting they are used in transmitting they are used in transmitting television television and also television and also the radio signals television and also the radio signals so these are the applications or important use of the man made satellites okay or you can also attend this question write a few lines about three planets of solar system any three planets you can choose and you, you can write the uh, you know uh, you can write the uh, any few thing which you know about those three uh, planets there are so many planets you can choose any three planet okay let me now choose mercury because mercury is the first planet okay so it is nearest it is nearest mercury is the nearest and also the smallest planet you can write it is the nearest and also the smallest planet okay next uh, yes let us write about venus so mercury is the nearest and smallest planet venus is the brightest planet so it is the brightest planet venus is the bright brightest planet in the sky brightest planet in the sky okay in the what kind of sky you can write night sky that is very important venus is the brightest planet in the night sky we can see this okay yes let us now choose our planet that is earth okay so what what do you write about earth so it is the only planet earth is the only planet it is the only planet where the life exists where the life exists the only planet where the life exists so these are the things we can write about the planet you can choose any planet whichever you know and you can answer So the twenty seventh question: A child of coastal area will test drinking water and also the sea water through a test. So the child finds that the magnitude of the bending of magnetic needle, magnetic needle was bending higher in the sea water. Can you explain the reason? I am asking why this magnetic needle is bending towards the sea water rather than bending towards the drinking water. Okay, very simple, children. See sea water. This sea water. Okay. is more conducting it is more conducting sea water is more conducting sea water is more conducting compared okay sea water is more conducting compared to drinking water compared to drinking water okay compared to drinking water what else you can write you can write why because it has more salts it has more salts sea water has more salts in it okay so what happens so more current as it has more salt what happen the more current the more current flows the more current flows to the sea water more current flows to the sea water okay so compared to what compared to the drinking water so hence you can write hence hence when tested so when tested so when tested with a tester when tested with a tester okay the magnetic the magnetic the magnetic needle the magnetic needle okay so it bends towards what it bends towards towards sea water it bends towards the sea water okay yes the last question is children i am asking draw a neat label diagram of human eye and label the retina and optic nerve i hope you all have found this video useful 
so learn learn to write all the diagrams and do you know watch all the videos which i am doing for your examination purpose so all the videos which i am uh, doing some of the model question papers and also some of the you know uh, lesson wise question answers is going to definitely help you to get full marks in your final examination okay so that is what i wanted to tell you so ishtu neevu tilkobeku enu tandre enenalla nan illi helidini ishtu concepts nimge thumbana important ide artha aagidya ella concepts thumbana important ide nimge so nimu artha maadkoli ishtu concepts na exam alli enen baribeku anta nan nimge model papers nalli explain maartta hogtini ella papers nu neevu check maadi channel alli and notes na kuda nanu enu explain maadirtini adana telegram group nalli share maartini neevu enoru telegram group nalli illa ande join aagi okay so link na nanu comment box nalli mention maartini okay so thank you so much for being in live children nimma friends jothege ellaru jothege gunu kuda idna share maadi so ee video use aayitu ankotini ee video hege ittu anta video end aadmele comment box nalli nimma comments na mention maadi thank you so much children